These days, we all carry around powerful digital cameras in our pockets in the form of smartphones. We take hundreds of photos every day, only to leave them unattended on our phones and in our computers. Digital photo frames aim to solve that problem by giving us a place to easily display our photography skills without having to go to the expense to print any. One such digital photo frame is the HP DF1050TW, with a unique mix of features, they hope that it will be the right digital photo frame for you. I'm James Frew from MakeUseOf.com, and today we're taking a look at the HP photo frame, which was kindly provided to us by Idea Electronics. They've also given us one that we can give away to a lucky viewer. Make sure to stay through to the end of the video for instructions on how to enter. The photo frame sports a 10.1 inch full HD screen. Its aspect ratio is 16 to 10, which means that if you do put any DSLR photos on it, they're gonna come out with slight back bars around the sides. There's also a lot of what appears to be wasted space around the sides of the screen, which could either have been used to extend the screen size or just not there at all. However, traditional photo frames do have sort of stylistic touches to them to make them sort of uh, an accessory for your home. And so perhaps this is what that empty space is for. Having said that, the device does look a lot like a piece of technology. Design-wise, it's not something like the Google Home or the Apple HomePod. It does look very standout-ish as a bit of technology. It comes in two colors, white or black, and the black may be able to suit your home decor a little bit better. There's a small sensor on the top right of the screen, which does look an awful lot like a camera at first, but rest assured it's not. It is in fact the light sensor so that it can adjust the brightness on the screen. For me, the greatest weakness in this device is actually found around the back in the form of a large and fairly bulky stand. The stand incorporates all the media inputs as well as the power input, but it is permanent. You can't fold it away and you can't put it anywhere, which means that you can't hang this device up at all. Couple that with the fact that it only comes included with a one and a half meter power lead means that you're kind of limited on where you're gonna be able to put it. Unlike many similar devices, this isn't actually running Android or any other mobile operating system that you would have heard of. Instead, it's running its own software, which is fairly minimal, but does everything it needs to do, including a few other things too. Alongside all the photo features, it also includes a calendar, which can't connect to any of your online accounts and can't create events, so it's just a list of days, and an alarm clock, and a music player, in case you wanted to plug headphones in and listen to music on there. The settings are also fairly basic. You can connect to a Wi-Fi network, which is essential if you want to use the, the frame's best feature. You can also tweak the display settings, whether a screensaver comes on and whether you can switch it to night mode or not. Now, night mode isn't what you'd think it is, which is sort of like a dim version of everything. It's actually just the screensaver coming on. In the settings, you can also go to updates, which allows you to check for any over the air updates. Now, this is a great feature because it means that Idea Electronics have plans to keep the device updated and maybe even perhaps release new features in the future. Although this is an HP branded product, it is in fact created and produced by Idea Electronics, who licensed the HP brand name to put onto the device. This isn't in itself a bad thing, but it does lead to a bit of conflict where design language is concerned. If you download their smartphone app, scan the QR code from the photo frame, then you've connected your phone to that photo frame. And you can do this with multiple frames and multiple devices to one frame, which means that you could connect a whole range of people to a whole range of devices. This would be great if you are a family that wants to stay in touch through your photos and share photos, even though you're in different parts of the world or anything like that. It also means that it's, a, it's not just a static gift if you were to give someone a photo frame. You can constantly update it with pictures from your life and things that you're doing, which is great for members of your family or even friends and things like that. One thing that isn't made quite clear is that Photodrop is a cloud storage service though and it has limits. The limits are 10 gigabytes or five years, whichever comes first. And at the end of those limits, uh, you'll be asked to pay a top-up fee, which is unspecified at the moment, in order to keep the services running. Although it's a cloud storage feature, there's no web interface that I'm aware of, so you can't access it from anywhere else. It is literally just for sending photos from your phone to your photo frame. So whether you want to view images from Photodrop or from media that you've plugged into the back, if you tap on Photos, and then you can tap on any individual photo to bring it up in full screen. You can then swipe between them, you can pinch and zoom, you can do all the kinds of things you would normally do to photos. But if you tap on the full screen photo, you then get an options panel that comes up along the bottom. Under settings, you get to play around with slideshow settings. So things like transition type, how long each photo stays on the screen and whether you have any background music. Tap, on the, tap to open the options panel again, and you can press the play button and that will then start the slideshow running. At any point, if you tap to bring up the options panel, you can then press favorite to add it to a special favorites folder. So overall then, the HP DF1050TW does exactly what it needs to do, which is show you photos. It also has another great service in the form of Photodrop, which really does set it apart from other photo frames. However, for $150,
everything should be flawless. And unfortunately, that's not quite the case. You know, things like the app doesn't look particularly great. Things aren't quite clearly explained. It's a fairly odd information panel or help where you have to swipe through different photos in order to see how to use the device. I mean, fortunately, it is really easy to use, which is one of its big selling points. But everything should be absolutely perfect. The good news is though, because they've enabled over the air updates, it means that they have plans to keep improving the device as the years go on. Which means we should see some of these small little niggles that I found resolved relatively quickly. In the end though, the HP DF1050TW is a great example of what digital photo frames should be able to do in the modern age. As it's relatively easy to use and has really great features in the form of Photodrop, with potential to update it to add more features or make it even better in the future, the HP DF1050TW is a great and ideal photo frame for your home. Thanks very much for watching. Um, as I said, we do have one to give away to one lucky viewer. Head over to the post linked in the description below for details of how to enter. Make sure to subscribe to make use of for weekly giveaways and tech tutorials. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.